close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. Because time slows down close to the speed of light, special relativity provides us with a means of going to the stars. Welcome back, everybody, to Llamascapes. It is day 80 of the account, and we have done another 40 minutes of charm, or, uh, yeah, charm farming. Uh, used another familiarization ticket. There's another 227 crimsons, 274 blues, and those should be enough to have us level 87 banked. Also, I got a daily challenge for summoning today after re-rolling. And of course, I extended that because that's a solid like 70, 80,000 experience at least. Uh, so that's that's a big help for sure. Let's knock this out. And if anyone is wondering why my game has been so dark recently, it showed up in a lot of clips last time. Uh, yeah, I use the Dusk Skybox pretty often. Um, occasionally, I will clear it out, but I found that Dusk is actually really helpful if I'm doing something like mining. Uh, and it's also just easier on the eyes. But anyway, uh, part of what I wanted to show off is that I have 588 adamant bars, 470 rune bars, and a good 227 luminite banked up. Uh, this is nowhere near enough. It's it's maybe about half of what I need in terms of addy bars. Uh, but I thought I would go ahead and, and see what I had. And uh, I would burn through my crimsons before I actually burn through my blues. So uh, yeah, let's let's just go ahead and withdraw all of these. And here we finally have it on day 81, the big level we've been going for, 87 summoning. Time to go pick up those fancy pants. And we got the boost that we needed, so boom, mix the Fellstalk Potion into a Prayer Renewal. Elite Mauritania tasks done. Let's go claim those pants. And there we have it. The fancy Mauritania legs for, and we got three antique lamps. One, or two of them giving 50k, and one giving 40k. And yeah, I think they're they're all just going straight into herb lore, the big skill. Uh, so let's click that. Boom, that's a nice chunk of XP. And I just realized something quite unfortunate that you only get the bonus XP when you're actually wearing these pants. Uh, and you know what I was going to have in my virus pants slot? Well, that was the scavenging four on my gown. Okay, so I gave it some thought, and given that I do have an extra gown of subjugation right here, I'm going to get this up to at least level 9 or level 10, disassemble it for the Zami components, and to get that scavenging four out of there. Then I'm going to remove the Demon Slayer mobile that I have here, and socket the scavenging four into my garb. Uh, that'll just, you know, I really want the scavenging. So, <laughs> so I'm going to get it because, uh, is what I want. And the last thing I need is 500 Slayer points. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and go through, you know, one hour of vampirism. And then while it's on cooldown, I'm going to work on some Slayer so that I can unlock this. Uh, this is just really important to me getting that one inventory slot back, to be honest. And there is another nice little milestone level 90 Slayer. Yeah, it's the Scarab skill, I know, but uh, yeah, that's some progress, right? I think from this point onwards, I'm not going to do uh, Scarabs anymore unless I really want the Minifos rep for some reason. Uh, and that is because, uh, oh look, another Ports Adventurer, cool. Uh, that is because I gained access to Anachronia Slayer Master. Uh, Lania Kia, and that is going to be my late game Slayer method. All I need is level 90, I'm pretty sure, so there we go, we have that unlocked. And because I was on a 50th task, task number 350, I got 330 points from Lania Kia, which means that I can add this seat aside to my tool belt as I want to. Boom, there we go. That'll save me, you know, an inventory slotted fires, which is nice. Time to uh, burn through the 700 and something corrupted ore that I have with my full blacksmith set on. All right, time for our first disassemblings. Yeah, I only went for level 9, but I think that gives full XP. No, not quite. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go for it, though, because I want that bonus prayer XP. So let's go ahead and just DA that so we get our four components and we get our scavenging four back. And then I can DA my sun spear as well. 
All right, first prayer level on the grind. There is 86 picked up. Three, 370,000 to 87. Oh, man. But we are just about 2.9 mil from Soul Split. So, you know, we're we're getting a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, I did a, uh, you know, full vamp aura plus I extended it for Vizwax because, you know, that's, that's just how we have to do. Okay. And a bit wild, but seconds after that clip, I mean, like 15 seconds later, there's 95 magic picked up. So, uh, yeah, four levels to go for that. On to day 82, and I just had my first rare component proc from scavenging. Uh, third age components <laughs> for my first hit. That is pretty sick. Uh, yeah, so in the future, whenever I want to do some clue hunting, that gives me access to Prosper. And I think the Demon Slayer is also a... Uh, I think these components are a really good source for getting Demon Slayer. Okay, that's pretty wild. Just a few minutes later, got some Ascended components. Uh, yeah, I am not complaining. I, I love scavenging. And there's level 96 magic. Yeah, we are very quickly approaching that 99. And there we finally have it, the real level 95 divination, so we can harvest incandescence anytime that we want to. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stock up on some of these uh, pretty soon. So I got kind of tired of constantly going to Berg to Rot to charge the thing, so boom, a thousand charges. You can just use congealed blood on it. Um, and I realized I don't really care to make any of the blood essences, at least not for now. So yeah, a thousand charges. I'm, I'm a little crazy, I know. Oh, well, I just got a fire making level up to 85. And while it may seem innocuous, it actually marks a 300 total level to go. We are at 2472 out of 2772. Really getting up there cruising now. I think I've got like... 30 total levels in two or three days or something. That's what it feels like, at least. And I really think I should admit this. Uh, I've been slacking a lot on the farm runs, like the, the herb runs. Uh, so I've got a ton of seeds stacking up in the bank, especially now that I'm actually farming buyers. Um, so yeah, that's something I really need to get on top of because as soon as I do, then I can, you know, start making my way closer and closer to uh, overloads. Also... Even at this point, I can tell just how much money this is going to earn. Um, I'm up to just shy of 34 mil, right? Uh, and I've been buying things from the traveling merchant. You know, I'm spending money on broads. I think I was at 28 mil or so after I got my summoning to 87. So basically, I've earned like 6 or 7 million GP so far. So it's like over a mil an hour, I want to say. Uh... Yeah, it's it's solid. Oh, uh, plus the you know sun spear reclamations that cost 600k at a time uh, every single time I get it to level 10. So I just checked my trapper and somehow the trapper has given me two cobalt. No wait, a cobalt and an azure chinchampa. Okay, yeah. So now I've gotten a cobalt and azure and a crimson. Can I can I just get the crystal one maybe? All right, time to throw together another Triskelion, turn it in, and deep pick No, sadly. So I normally like to save up my Morcella Mushroom Spores from Vyres, uh, but they give pretty decent farming XP, and this stack here is going to give me like 20k mushrooms if I ever farm them all, so uh, that's that's fine. I can, I can delete those now. All right, another pretty big level today, 97 magic. On to day 83 with 89 prayer. Just one more level until apparently the XP rate goes up by quite a bit. Uh, someone mentioned that it goes up by 70 base. So like 105 extra EXP per kill uh, at level 90. Interested to see that because that would take this from, you know, 315 to 420. Which 420 actually does sound familiar. So maybe that's right. And uh yeah, that's just a much better XP rate. Currently getting like 200k an hour as is. And the end of that trip marks another level 10 Sun Spear, which we can disassemble happily. Uh, but sadly, I've been getting really unlucky on enhancing components. <laughs> like you can see a stack of 100 ethereals, you know, like 70 healthies, 
36 stunnings, which I came into this with zero because uh, I was using those on electrified traps for Hunter. I have I have four enhancings right now, and I've used like uh, 14 on two other augmenters. So pretty unlucky on this front. Um, yeah, I got to make some Slayer Rings. Oh, and that is a fun level. 92 farming, so I can now raise and breed dragons if I if I ever get those. Uh, <laughs> but that's uh, it's halfway done with farming. Nice. And upgraded my DPS a bit from uh, Precise 2, Equilibrium 2, to Precise 4, Equilibrium 4, and Ultimatum 2. Uh, Ultimatum doesn't really do anything for me, uh, but these two are nice. Oh, would you look at that pretty level 98. Just about an hour or two left to go for that first 99. And there we have it, level 90 prayer. So uh, yeah, 420 EXP per vire. Perfect for the memes. Uh, also, yeah, giant uh, giant jump in XP ray right there. So that's it's pretty nice. Uh, just two more levels until Soul Split. And we have yet another Ports adventure unlocked. Oh, um, making pretty good progress on Ports as well. Unlock the, uh, the third boat today. Starting off day 84 with another skill up to level 90, 90 invention. And there we have it. It is finally time for us to pick up the first 99 on the speedrun series. Yeah, 27 to go, and I won't be picking up the skill cape for another 40 minutes because I have some camping to do. But uh, yeah, time to switch over our uh, yeah our combat XP over to defense. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've seen that coming for for quite a few days, uh, but it's 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 just nice to have. And there's another nice level picked up on this hour of vampirism. 91 prayer. That means just one more level and we'll have soul split. And then I guess I can move to other auras. If I had other auras, uh, I'm thinking about picking up some of the 5,000 loyalty point auras. Uh, Salvation, Harmony, and uh, Corruption, I want to say. That restore prayer points whenever you gain prayer XP, e.g. on kill. Uh, I also give bonus prayer XP, I believe. Um, so basically, I could just turn on Soul Split, start killing Vires. It restores my prayer for me. I restore my health automatically. So <laughs> all I have to do is boost and sit here. Um, so yeah, I think I might spend some of my loyalty points on that. I put some thought into what I wanted my first 99 to be. And then I realized, you know, picking up magic is a nice little throwback to... Uh, you know, my original Road to Comp series. So there we have it, our first proper skill cape, the magic cape. This also allows us to change our spell books at banks. Um, so I no longer have to run to the lunar altar whenever I want to do, you know, NPC contact for Slayer in the future. Uh, yeah, you can just activate it. Very nice. Um, and I think I'm going to start uh, another bank tab, or at least... Uh, Maybe get rid of one of my old tabs, um, probably the gnome restaurant one. Uh, and I'm going to start putting all of my skill capes in there. So starting with the quest cape, then the magic cape, and then start putting them all in there in the order up till max. And there we have it. I did buy the harmony and corruption auras. And I believe in six or seven days, whenever I get more loyalty points, I'll buy the third one. So I can basically just do you know, three different auras back to back to back, uh, if I feel like I need them, uh, of course. Um, yeah, given how young my account is, uh, yeah, I only have 2,500 more loyalty points. I only had 12,500 in total. Uh, and that was really something I wanted to, um, to stick to on this series, is like making sure that I started on a fresh account that didn't have a ton available. Um, that way, you know, if you start an account uh, and like play an old school forever, rack up loyalty points then you can start a fresh fresh in quotes account and have like you know legendary jack of trades from day one and that makes a really big difference uh especially if you start to reset it and and all those other things that you can do um yeah so i i didn't feel like that would really be a, a fair representation in like a speed run sort of series especially if someone wanted to compare to it so i started purely fresh uh, you know, very limited on loyalty points. I also didn't like buy Premier Club or anything like that. I mean, I started the account later than Premier Club was available, but still, 
Uh, no, no premier club or anything like that, just for sake of comparability. And here is a nice set to finally be completing the Fletcher's outfit. So purchase and then one more piece. Boom. And that is the full set. I don't think... Oh, uh, checking that box will let you buy more. Any? That's interesting. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, moving forward, the Traveling Merchant will be going towards the Artisan's outfit. I'm going to try not to spend too much time harping uh, for the time being. Ideally, I would be doing DG crafting uh, in the future, or maybe uh, cutting gems or, or, you know, churning through dragon hide with the Artisan's outfit on. So that's something I'm going to work towards. And I believe that by walking here to this monument and hitting pay respects with 90 prayer, you get a drop of 100k, which gives us the level, the big level, 92. Yeah. I mean, that's the big one. It's time to turn on curses and never turn them off. Starting off day 85 with a little bit of dungeoneering, got quite close to level 96, and uh, we're actually going to be picking up the Amulet of Zealots. I thought it was 50,000, but it's 40,000. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we pick this up so that uh, whenever we start using Soul Split at Vyres, we can also use the Leech Curses. Uh, like leech magic, and it will instantly have its maximum effect. Now, this is incredibly valuable, uh, given that one, we're going to have basically permanent prayer. Uh, it also increases the effect by 10% to begin with. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I don't have uh, turmoil available yet, uh, which would be the uh, ideal uh, setup if you didn't have zealots. But actually, with zealots, it makes leech magic the best option or uh, Leech Magic Strength, the best option available. So, uh, yeah, we've got, like, the best in slot setup now. Another little milestone, yet another 90 skill, 90 defense. And I did misspeak about the uh, auras that I'll be using, the Corruption, Harmony, Salvation auras. Uh, the Tier 1 is not quite enough to fully sustain your prayer, but it, it just slowly drains down, so it's not that bad. Uh, essentially, I'm using, I'm using prayer pots at about the same rate I used to, uh, but in this case, I get bonus prayer XP, uh, and, well, I, I think I get uh, a fair bit more damage. Uh, given that I'm using Leech Magic Strength with the Amulet of Zealots, compared to uh, just using Augury previously. And here we have it, yet another skill coming in at level 90. 90 Herb Lord down. Technically, I can do a plus 6 boost now and get all the way up to Overloads, but I'm going to try to get up to like 93 or 94 uh, so that I can do a much easier boost before making those. These milestone levels are really coming in a lot faster these days. There's 93, which marks 2,500 total level. I have been paying zero attention to the rare material rolls, mostly just seeing the uncommons as they pop up, of course. Uh, I knew I got some more ascended comps, but apparently I hit third age again? That is sick. <laughs> Killing Virus has been giving me a ton of Crystal Keys, and a ton of Crystal Keys means a ton of Corrupted Ore, which is going to get me some smithing level. So there is level 88 picked up. Key thing about 88 is that I can boost to 90 with the Banner Boost, which is what I currently have going, uh, which means that I can smelt Elder Rune. Uh, so currently the plan is to use this boost uh, when available to actually smelt Elder Rune. Uh, and start using these bars. Um, I think I should only need to make about one burial set in order to get myself all the way up to level 90, and then boosting would give me the extra bar chance. Uh, so that's, that's kind of the idea I have in mind. I've decided that since I do plan on training smithing somewhat soon, uh, I thought I should go for some uh, Tinker 4 plus Prosper uh, chances with Ancient Tool Gizmo Shells. Uh, that only requires one third age component per try, uh, and it requires eight clockwork components, which you can get from um, multi-cannon parts. Uh, it costs about one and a half mil to get eight of those. So 
Weird thing, though, uh, it seems that your best chance at getting exactly that perk combination is at level 62 and 63 invention. And the only way to de-level your invention is by standing here and letting your stats drain. So, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna do that and then go for that uh, about 58% about chance of getting it. I, uh, yeah, I thought clockwork components were, I thought they were uh, special so that you would be guaranteed to get one every single time you disassembled one of these things. Uh, no, it turns out it's 40%, so I spent a lot more than I thought I would. I think I just spent like 10 mil, <laughs> or 8 mil. Uh, but anyway, there's Tinker 4 Prosper, got it on the second try. Um, yeah, that's that's worth it for the clue scrolls, right? <laughs> I mean, hey, it's a best in slot perk, so I really, I really shouldn't be upset that I spent so much money on it, but yeah. Well, I just did a plus five Herblore boost, or, or was aiming for one so I can make some more in extreme invention potions. And I got a plus six on my first stew. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna make an overload. And there we have it, overloads made. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's that's kind of wild to be honest. Um, I wasn't intending to boost for this, but but I'll take it, right? <laughs> Now, I didn't have many resources uh, prepared for this. I just had to make all of my extremes, uh, except for defense, I think. Um, so I'm only going to make a few for now, uh, just in case I need to go kill a boss or something like that. Or, or maybe I can make some holy overload soon uh, to use at Vyres. I know they're not necessary, but I, I just like them. Um, yeah, but there's a, there's a few overloads available. Let's see. 15 times 3, so 45 doses. That is, uh, that's a fair bit. And with those extreme inventions, I gave it quite a few shots, uh, five attempts, in fact, with heavy components to try and get a decent level of breakdown. Couldn't get anything good. Uh, I don't even think I hit it once. So I'm just going to go with this normal breakdown two for the time being. I can always replace this later, uh, but I do have the best in slot Tinker 4 Prosper, which is quite nice. Uh, this over here is just to get some extra components from the, uh, the Elder Rune I'm going to be making. I also don't plan to siphon or disassemble the Hammertron. I'm just going to keep it as is, uh, let it get up to level 20 so that it can proc stuff constantly. On to day 86, and we're doing div because my charge pack was low. <laughs> we got we got Willow, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh... I don't even know how many skilling pets that is now. <laughs> is that Jack of Trades potentially? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, that's that's pretty sick. <laughs> let us uh, let us throw that on as the next pet. Boom, Willow as the override. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yet another skill up to uh, level 90. Yeah, fire making. Um, that is, that's like over half of my skills over level 90. That's pretty wild. So a uh, little bit of math seems like I'm averaging about 300,000 prayer XP an hour here, uh, which is not bad. I mean, it's not the best that you can get. Of course, I don't have best in slot gear or anything, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to hit 99 prayer before 99 defense. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, to solve that, uh, but I will be staying here till 99 defense over the next few days anyway. Decided to do just a little bit of rune crafting so I could pick up level 80, and that's also the 80 in all skills broadcast. Yeah, so uh, 80 rune crafting, 80 fletching, uh, 88 crafting, then there's agility smithing, cooking, wood cutting, which is very quickly going up, summoning, which I probably have 90 bank by this point. Uh, and then, yeah, Hunter and Construction. So, that's what, like 10 skills left below level 90? Oh, aside from my melees, which, you know, those will take all of a few hours. Yeah, yeah, we're, uh, we're really getting up there in the levels now. Okay, this is just insane. I kill one more Vire as I'm walking away to go bank, and, uh, well, look what's in my bank! Oh, the, the Ghost Pet, so that's two bets today, and that's Jack of Blades! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is... What is this? <laughs> okay. I I can't believe that I keep having to change 
my skilling pet. But look, you know what? Give me, give me the ghost override. Sorry, Willow, you only lasted a day. <laughs> Yeah, so that puts uh, me getting Jack of Blades about 13 hours, almost on the dot, after getting Jack of Trades today. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's kind of wild. And there we finally have it. 95 prayer, so we got the big boys. The anguish, the turmoil, and the torment. And with that, that is it for the video. I just... I was already planning on finishing it off here, but after today's luck, it's just insane. This this has to go up. Also, we got our first 99, another 95, 94 here, 96 HP. Yeah, we are uh, we are cruising through these higher levels, and not to mention the fact that I'm up to like 190 million overall XP now. I I think I got like 40 million in the past week which is basically the, the since i uploaded the last video just insane uh so anyway thanks for watching everyone and i'll see y'all in the next one where i have some special plans that might unravel <laughs>